people are asleep and when they die they wake up but only when we wake up it's too late bro because there ain't no coming back what is it that we're really chasing you know it's not like you and I don't know that we're not gonna die but we all have this illusion we all have this fantasy that we've that we've created in our minds you know this life plan that I have of mine this this dream that I'm gonna grow up one day to be this amazing person who's gonna be famous and rich and have this amazing car and this beautiful house and marry this beautiful woman and have these amazing children this is my plan and right at the end of this beautiful journey that I'm sketching out on this canvas of mine right at the end there you know I've allowed for death but I've allowed for this noble ending the reality is Allah doesn't work around my plan and your plan he's the one that plans he's the one that designs he's the one that calls he's the one that orders the Prophet was asked sallallahu alayhi wasallam and I will end with this he was asked sallallahu alayhi wasallam that, O Prophet of Allah, who is the one that is most wise? He said, the one that is most wise is the one that plans for his death. And he does good deeds in preparation of his death. And when he was asked, O Prophet of Allah, and who is the one that is most foolish? He said, the most foolish is the one chasing his whims and his desires. This is the greatest loser. Be honest with yourself. Where do you fit in this hadith? Are we from the ones that are most wise? Or are we really from the foolish?